That's sweet. So I'm talking about my mom, it's Megan Grace Smith. She was born June 30th, 1975. She's 47 and she's mean as it gets. Uh, it's because she's old. Um, she grew up in Northern Virginia around Berryville. Sorry. Um, there's nothing to do up there. It's a completely barren place. It's country land. It's farmland. That's all it is. There's nothing for like miles and miles if you want to go. Like a restaurant, you have to go to a hometown restaurant. You know how it is. And she grew up without cell phones, video games, very little TV, just not much to do. She wanted to make plans with her friends. She had to call her. And she sit there in the kitchen with the landline, you know, connected to the wall, talking to her friends, leaning up against the fridge for most of her childhood through high school years. She grew up, spent a lot of time outside. She lived on, you know, about six, seven acres, big barn, you know, huge, like, farmland, and, you know, a lot of, like, garden. They didn't have any animals growing up, but they did have, like, garden land and stuff like that. Um, she grew up hanging out with her friends, going over to their houses, and just, like, playing sports in a big yard. Um, she remembers how her parents, their friends, would just show up to the door. No call, no information, no nothing. We'd just show up, bring stuff to them, or be like, hey, can I pick this up? You know, and they come knock on the door for miles away, because it's a small town. Um, through her high school years, she spent a lot of the time biking around with her friends, going to the mall. There wasn't much to do. You couldn't go, like, anywhere to the arcade, to the mall, you know, go shopping, something like that. It wasn't much. So she would go out biking. She would play organized sports with her school. She played basketball. Mind you, my mother is probably about this tall. So, you know, she wasn't a star or anything. She played volleyball. She played track and field. Um, and she wasn't like a super athlete or anything. Her legs were probably that long. So not anything crazy. Um, but she spent a lot of her high school time working in a doctor's office, which made her very interested in the medical field. But she knew even then that she didn't want to touch people every day and deal with sick and ill people, so she became a pharmacist. She took um, quite a few years to get through college, to get through pharmacy school, and that took a lot of, lot of her. It was one of the toughest moments of her life, dealing with college, working, and being far from home. But she made it through college and she became a pharmacist when she moved to Richmond, which is where she still lives to this day. In Richmond, through a work associate and a friend of hers, she met my father. And they started dating and she mentioned that he was very kind and she liked him because he was hardworking. And my father's been a blue collar man since he was 18 years old, so that makes sense. Um, they got married, moved in together, and they had obviously kids, because well, I'm talking. Um, but they only had two, my sister and I. Um, and my sister is 18. I'm seven, well, no, my sister's 20, I'm 17, but sorry. And we're three years apart. When my mom gave birth to my sister, she was worried because she had never done it before. She was worried about what to do when she took her home. She didn't want to leave the hospital. When she gave birth to me, she didn't know what to do with her boy. She wasn't that worried, though. She was just like, I'll throw him somewhere. Um, let's see. She noticed that there was a big difference throughout the years because of technology. Like she grew up working in the computer lab in high school, but as the years went on, she noticed that how much technology changed social interactions and how the world just needs more understanding and more over achievers, I guess. She thinks the world's become a little soft. Um, She's been alive for, you know, a good amount of time. She's been alive for four decades, almost five. And she just would like to say that it's important to have patience and grace for everyone. Because we've all been through things. We've all had hardships in our lives and they changed us either for the worse or for the better. And it takes time to have understanding for those folks because you want them to have understanding for you. And that's all.